Hello. 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 Hi, my name is Misty Lovely. Welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Um, tonight, I'm actually going to um, answer a viewer's question about um, foundation. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't know um, a lot about uh, everyday wear foundation. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, well, what do you use? Do you use CoverGirl? And, and generally, a drag queen's answer for that is, uh, CoverGirl does not cover boys. So, in response to this request, um, I'm actually going to discuss what um, the most prevalent product in the female impersonation market is. continued um, their line including um, the pan stick and it's very very difficult to find you can still order it online at drugstore.com or if you look on eBay uh, they're quite expensive um, it can tend to look really cakey uh, and that's why I only recommend it for nightwear or if you should um, happen to pick up a tube of this if you're a biological female and, and you want some tips as to a really really good foundation this is it but if you wear this during the day, I would highly, highly recommend um, just using it around your eyes. Um, it can make you look a lot younger. I have a full face of it on right now, but um, I don't know if you can see this. It's very, very heavy. And uh, when you put it on your face, it gives you a blank canvas. Now, um, a lot of people tend to use uh, a couple different techniques of applying um, a stick foundation. Uh, some use cosmetic sponges. I uh, prefer to blend it with just one finger because it gives you total control um, over the ability to blend it all in. Now, if you use a foundation like this, you also need to use um, some kind of a powder to set it because it is quite heavy. And uh, what I recommend is um, Cody Airspun. Now, this looks and smells uh, like something that you might pull out of your grandmother's medicine cabinet, but um, frankly, it's the most effective price-wise um, and it, it really does the job. Now, there are a couple different ways to apply a loose powder. Some people choose to use a puff like this, which um, it's, uh, sometimes it can be made of feathers, some kind of uh, cotton as well. I do not recommend using a puff like this, and I'll explain why. Because if you use this all over your whole face, it's going to leave little tiny shreds of this material on your face and it can itch throughout the night. And nobody wants to have an itchy face. So this can be used for light touch-ups, but I would never ever recommend setting your entire face with it. Instead, use a, a, a puff like this. Sometimes it's velour. Um, it's a lot more firm. It's almost like a sponge. And I always take one of these wherever I go if I'm wearing makeup, uh, especially with an item called grease paint. If you don't touch it up 
often uh, with a little bit of loose powder, um, it, you're gonna look oily and greasy. It does not set without the powder. So one and the other go hand in hand. Don't ever try to wear a full face of pan stick without something over it or you're gonna look like a, a pan of bacon grease. Now when you go to set your makeup um, with an air spun powder or any kind of loose powder and a puff, don't be afraid to beat yourself. Um, and, and never ever go like that across your face. You always want to press into the foundation. Um, and that will set it really well. Hopefully, if your skin's not too oily to begin with, you won't need that many touch-ups throughout the night. And Cody Airspun is available in a lot of different shades uh, that can be used for highlighting and contouring as well. One thing that I do, um, I'll be honest, when we finally heard that um, Max Factor had discontinued the pan stick, uh, myself and a couple of the other drag performers in the area went within a 50 mile radius to every uh, department store and bought up as much as we could. Um, and it's lasted us almost three years so far, so it was a good deal. But um, obviously not all of the tones that we bought matched our skin tone because we just generally wanted the product. If you find that um, a foundation does not match your skin tone, don't panic. What you can do is um, purchase a couple different colors of um, the loose powder and if you manage to um, and you got to mix it very carefully a little goes a long way but if you happen to find a good balance that matches your skin tone it really doesn't matter what foundation you wear underneath it as long as you do a consistent coverage all over your face if you're a man I would also highly recommend continuing the pan stick down your neck and some people to blend even um, spray a little bit of uh, water on them not not like with a, a spray bottle but just a little mist of it um, and that'll blend it and as always powder over it with the air spun now one of the best tips and tricks that I can offer and I was very very glad when uh, this advice was shared shared with me um, when I was a young drag queen a lot of women ask me how do you keep your makeup from from going anywhere or spreading uh, I, I used to do a dunk tank every year for um, Gay Pride here in the Chippewa Valley. And even though the very first time it was dunked, my hair would be floating on the top of the water, my face never went anywhere. And I'm gonna tell you how this works. Um, you simply get um, any kind of uh, hairspray, aerosol hairspray, um, which isn't the best for the environment or the ozone layer. But if you just take a, a little bit of hairspray spray it in the air just a fine mist you do not want to spray it directly on your face but if you do a few fine mists and just let it kind of settle over your face it sets your makeup um i've seen some people on youtube that will literally spray their face but if you have any time that um it congeals and makes a drip it's going to show up really ugly in photographs i did that once too where i sprayed the bangs of my hair and it dripped down my face well you couldn't tell it um in person but when I saw a photograph later on, that streak reflected off of a flash. So when you're using hairspray to set your makeup, just a very fun. Hello. 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 Hi, baby. Oh. Do you love me?